Max and Min woke up one sunny day and decided to go to one of the playgrounds near their home. Max likes the playground, which is nearby in their street, because it has a basketball ring and is also big enough for flying his kite. Min likes another playground around the corner from their house because it has swings and a slippery slide. Max said, let's work out which playground is bigger. So Min went to get their mum to help them work it out. You want to know which playground has a bigger area. Because a playground is a flat surface and area tells us how big a flat surface is. It's like these shapes I've cut out of coloured paper. Which has a bigger area? We can put this yellow rectangle fully inside the blue rectangle. So the blue one has a bigger area. The yellow one has a smaller area. This green triangle can fit fully inside the red triangle. So the red one has a bigger area. The green one has a smaller area. We can put this white square fully inside the yellow square. So the yellow one has a bigger area. The white one has a smaller area. But how can we do that with the playgrounds? asked Min. Well, said Mum, the flat surfaces with the longer sides have the bigger area. See? So, go to the playgrounds and walk along the sides, counting the steps you take. The playground with the longer sides has the bigger area. So Max and Min went to the two playgrounds and counted their steps as they walked the sides and found that the playground with the swings and slippery slide had the bigger area. Compare flat surfaces like book covers or blankets or walls and work out which have the biggest or smallest area. You can watch this video again or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.